Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning, and I am just getting ready to work out. I'm going to be doing Pavolve. I'm going to be doing Pavolve again. I'm in love with it. I'm a little sore from yesterday, but you know what? I enjoyed it so much. I can't wait to do it. So I got my water. I just filled it up, and then. Steven has the dogs for a walk, so I can set up right here in the living room and not have to worry about the dogs. Like I said, their app isn't um, in the app store yet on Apple TV, so but I just stream it from my phone onto my TV and it works perfectly. Still obsessed with Michelle Wong. I think I've watched all of her videos. And then this morning, I did a quick restyling of the mantle. I ran to Target, not for this, but found this really great picture and I just wanted to like balance out the two sides, but I'm very happy with it. What I actually went to Target for is I used up the last of my number seven Radiance Vitamin C Daily Brightening Moisturizer. This is the best daily moisturizer. It's different than what I use at night, but I love this stuff. I am no longer spending money on La Mer and all those high-end moisturizers. You can find just as good daily moisturizers in the drugstore. I mean, you have to do your research, you have to read ingredients, and you have to like try them out. But that number seven um, is such a good daily moisturizer. And then for any other moisturizer you need, CeraVe is the way to go. But I particularly like that one for brightening and radiance on my skin. But let's get this workout in. I'm not gonna keep this sweater on. It's just super cold here today. We are expecting a snowstorm to hit late this afternoon, early evening. For this workout, I need my slant board and then I'll come back and grab my light weights. They suggest three pounds. I usually use five. And then I already have my other bag of stuff. I think for this workout, all I need is my mat, my slant board, and my weights. I don't think I need ankle weights at all. So let's get that out and then let's go grab our weights really quick. Also, new book alert. The storm we made, it sounded really good. It's the Good Morning America book of the week. I heard about it this week. Still loving the scribe, particularly with this skin on it. Just obsessed. First e-reader that I've actually been able to read on. All right, grab my weights. We'll put those back when we're done. What I love about this is essentially you need the room of this mat to do the workout. Very rarely do you go beyond it. It's all functional movements, which I also love. And yeah, I think I am pretty well set up. Also, I'm just noticing, if I were asked, I probably wouldn't name it, but I am finding that my weights, my water bottle, my towel, my front door, <laughs> is all the same color. Perhaps it is my favorite color. I don't know what that color is. Also, it's kind of the com yeah. It's kind of the color of our comforter. It's kind of the color of this piece of furniture here. I guess it is my favorite color. Also rocking a Kelly Clarkson concert tee from Vegas. It was so good. I just relive it over and over in my head. All right, let's get our workout done. All right, I finished my workout, got cleaned up, and just been hanging out, did some skincare. The snow has begun and it's not supposed to stop until I think tomorrow morning. Luckily, I already have food for dinners and all of that stuff. So we're just cozying up and hunkering down. I love it when it's like these big puffy flakes. I think I am just going to read a little bit and chill out. I'm a little bit sore already from my workout. I also might watch a little bit more Michelle Wong vlogs because I love them. I can't get enough. I just got a delivery of 
these tabs that I found on Amazon. Such a good deal. First of all, the packaging is very nice, but they are 12 numbered tabs that are like, like a really beautiful antiqued brass. And I thought they would be so great to use for my daily pages based off of the month that we're in. So like, for example, this one, let me go find where we last left off. Okay, I haven't done Friday's entry yet, but I could slide it in there for the month of January. And I love that it doesn't come, it like has like a very low profile. So like my desk agenda cover will pretty much protect it. But I really, really love it. That way my journal pages are marked and I can just like flip to them easily. I love that. I kind of want to buy another set so I can also have like another one on my weekly. I don't know. I just really love it. And I love the idea of like using them by month because there are exactly 12 of them. So maybe I will order another set. I think they're like seven bucks. So I might order myself another set of these. And it has not been that long. And this is the snow that's already come down. So, also Michelle Wong is still going on my TV. <laughs> I just actually chatted with her on Instagram. I, she's like a friend in my head now. So the snow is really coming down. Luckily, I had already bought our groceries for the next couple days. So we are having taco night tonight. And I'm just doing it with, we're not like big like red meat eaters, so I'm just doing it with ground turkey. Steven just took the dogs outside and I'm just getting the house all cozy. Like all the candles going, all the things. Bubba's has his new haircut. Also, some of you noticed he's wearing a diaper in the last video, but you can see, let me open this up. You can see how much it is already coming down. But, yeah, so a cozy night in. Good morning, friends. I didn't film much yesterday. Um, we got a little bit of a snowstorm, and it was just like a nice, easy day. I am making myself some coffee, so I just ground some coffee, fresh coffee in my coffee grinder. I keep two grinders, one for spices, one for coffee, and then, I'm gonna do French press today, so I have my La Crusade French press. I love this one. I also love this is stoneware. It holds the heat a little bit better than some of the glass ones that you see. Just a little bit of water in here. All that is to do is to heat this up a bit. I'm just gonna let that heat up, and then I'm gonna put about four tablespoons of like medium ground, you won't be able to see that, medium ground coffee. Now, just a reminder, with a French press, you are automatically going to get a little bit dirtier of a coffee, like a little bit more grain in it. That's just part of the French press. I used to think it was like my press's fault and I would buy like different ones because it's like, oh my God, five specks of coffee grounds were in my coffee. No, it's just the nature of French pressing. But it is such good coffee. All right, that's pretty hot, but I'm gonna leave that in there. I am gonna dump all of this out and use fresh water as soon as it's done. All right, my water is about to boil, so I'm gonna dump this out. My water and my kettle is nice and hot. All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna add four tablespoons of coffee. Actually, I want it a little bit stronger today, so I'm going to add about four and a half. Okay, coffee is added, and now I'm going to add just a little bit of water first, just to make it muddy. Okay, um, 
I added just a little bit of water to make it muddy and I like to give that a stir first. And then fill up the rest of my Smells so good. All right, now that I've filled that up, I'm gonna just give it another stir. And I'm gonna put my lid on and set a timer for four minutes. Four minutes is up, so now I'm just gonna slowly press this down. The key is to not press this down too fast. And our coffee is done. Now, this makes about two good sized cups of coffee. I also don't know if I said good morning yet. Good morning. Let's have a good day. Tomorrow, I return to reality. <clears throat> I've been off for quite some time. I think it's like 17 days. And tomorrow I return to reality. And I know for me that is sometimes like the hardest time of like this new year um, and trying to stay on track with your focus and your goals. So I think today's prompt, um, and it's kind of like my weekend meditation, is so fitting. And that is, what are the three new things that are small that you can do this week? And for me is, I wanna take my workout clothes with me to work and actually change. So when I walk in the door at home, my workout clothes are already on. I think that will make a huge difference. That is only the case if I decide to work out once I come home from work because like I said I'm listening to my body so if I'm up early and want to get my workout in early then I'll do that but if not I want to take my clothes with me. I also want to make sure that I prioritize at least an hour to an hour and a half of my day during the week. I am completely disconnected whether it be in the morning or in the afternoon, not scrolling anything, not looking at my phone, not looking at emails, just at some point. And my third thing is, is to do little things to stay active when I get home so that I just don't crash and burn out. So those are my three little changes I would make this week. If I don't work out in the morning, I take my clothes with me and change before I leave work so I can hit the ground running when I come home disconnect for at least an hour to an hour and a half every day. And then third would be to don't come home and just crash and vegetate, like make yourself active. So those would be my three small things. I can't wait to read what yours are in the comments below or to connect on Instagram about them. What are you going to do for yourself this week? Three things, new and they can be small. Actually, they should be small the likelihood of doing them is much higher than. I have had the same dishes since when we redid our house, our first house in New York. I've had the same dishes. They are just plain white dishes from Target and they have been used and abused. <laughs> Steven broke one of the bowls today. They are looking pretty dingy and scratched up and like it was just time and I saw this set in an Instagram like photo and I like researched finding them they're actually from Walmart they're super reasonable dishwasher microwave freezer oven safe up to I think four like 25 in the oven which is remarkable but what I also love is they don't come with mugs I hate when a dinnerware set comes with mugs because I don't need mugs. I just need the plates, the bowls. So these have a black and white dot pattern. I've linked them for you. They just look amazing and we just need new plates. I love these. 
And then what's great is Mabel is currently eating out of our white ones. So we can keep those bowls for her and then have these all set aside. All right, I am going to get the rest of these unpacked and these boxes broken down. The weight and quality of these dishes, I mean, they are like West Elm crate and barrel. Like if this is your aesthetic, run like a thief in the night and order these because they are stunning. I'm in love with them in love for Thanksgiving. I might just order another set and have them in my cabinet because I can't imagine how beautiful the table would be with them. Here's like just an example. I don't know if it'll show up, but like, yeah, you can see it. See how beat up these are getting? Like there's like scratch marks and chips. And I, they, I mean, they have been phenomenal, phenomenal dishes and they have held up. Like you can see all the marks on the sides of these. They have held up. I hate when they come with mugs. Um, they've held up over the course of time, but they needed replaced. All right, friends, I want to get this vlog edited and done and really hunker down and get focused for the week. I cannot wait to see what your three small changes are and hopefully you can hold me accountable for mine. All right, take care of yourself, take care of others, be kind, kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time, which will be soon, bye-bye.